Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is Mama Uganda, and a video about her has popped up in my recommendations, and I finally watched it. So I watch so many interesting videos about things that are going on all over the world. But this one is so interesting and so sad, I just wanted to share it. So Mama Uganda has given birth to 44 children, but she's only been pregnant 15 times. So how did that happen? Amanya gange ze Maria munna batanzu. Ne miyaka asatu muenda. Ndimu kama yampe zadde. Nganye na mwa babiri. Oluzalo lwanga olusoka na soka ne zala bana babiri. Ne nzira ka bana babiri. Ne nzira ka bana babiri. Ne ntobe ka one zala bana bana. Ne zala bana. Katuana was a good day. In Tantakoto, we cover Bana Basatu Bana Basatu Mumogat and Empis and Zaro Kuminata. Paco do same be your wins at the yo yo. Oh no, ya same by you. It aguins at demo are you moyeka. Nina Bana, Mubana. So the reason that she had so many sets of twins, triplets, and even quadruplets, the doctor told her she had an unusually high amount of egg cells. So this little boy right here, her youngest, her last child, I hope it's her last child, was the only one born not a twin, triplet, or quadruplet. So this little one here is the only one that was born a single birth child. So throughout the video, she tells all kinds of story of her life, how this all started, how she became a mom at 13 years old, how she was abandoned by her mother, and right here, she's just showing her home. She lives in absolute squalor. I wouldn't even call this a house. In the United States, you would not be legally allowed to live in this house. It's worse than any abandoned house I could possibly even imagine. So it's a very, very sad situation. So if that wasn't sad enough, here's another very sad part of the story. If you guys want to watch this video in its entirety, I'll put a link right down below the video so you guys can click on it, watch the whole video. But in this part of the video, she's explaining that when she was very young, a child, um, her stepmother ground up a whole bunch of glass. So I guess she was unhappy with her husband having all of these kids, and she ground up a bunch of glass and forced the kids to eat the ground up glass. So um, she's saying here that she refused to eat it. Um, she ran outside and when she got back in, all of her siblings were dead. She's telling here of all her life struggles and all the horrible things that she's been through. But I'm wondering with so much attention that she's getting, you know, all over the internet videos about her why is she not getting any help? And I did look in the description of this video of how anybody, if they wanted to, could reach out to her and help her. But with so many people, why isn't she doing better? Why isn't she getting a lot of donations? This is a different story. This is a different situation. This woman is not in the United States where this would be, this would have no excuse for happening. So, you know, she's in Uganda. She does not have the same opportunities and privileges that we do in the United States. So my first thought was, how can we help her? So this is the information that I found in the description of this video. And this supposedly is her son's bank account information. You know, I think people are sometimes hesitant to reach out and help. Everybody wants to. We want to help, right? If you're in the position to help, you know, it wouldn't be anything for me to send $50 a month or whatever. But we're just so afraid of being scammed, I think. So I left a comment just now and no replies as of yet.
So if you guys are wondering like I was before I watched this video, how does she take care of 38 kids? So out of 44 children that she gave birth to, 38 survived, and she has to take care of these kids. How does she do it? I wish I could show you guys the remainder of this video, but due to copyright laws, I'm unable to. So like I said, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. But just watching things like this for me, I mean, it does more than put things into perspective. Even on my worst day, it would not even compare to what she goes through. You know, it really just makes you wonder and appreciate, you know, everything you have. Because there are people living in other parts of the world that you that you really can't even comprehend. It's really, really sad. So also, if you guys want to help her out or try to send donations, it's up to you. I would really love to know if anybody has really donated to her and if it's really even gotten to her. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.